Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to install Next TV Live TV Player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And now, without any further ado, let me show you how you can get Next TV app to your Fire TV Stick. Now, first of all, what you have to do is you have to get an app called Unloader. Here it is, I already have it on my device. But you can actually download it for free from the official Amazon App Store or Google Play Store. Just go to search on your device. Here it is. And now just type the loader in the search bar. And usually it's not even needed to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom. So click on the loader and that's the application which you need to download to your device. However, after you download the app, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. To do so, we'll go to settings. Here they are, that button with gear icon. Then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here you have to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it basically allows you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, click on it. And here we have the loader. However, before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I really recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks or pretty much any other device, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is encrypted, so nobody can track you online, and your internet provider won't be able to know what apps you are loading from the internet or what videos you're watching. So if you want to stay out of trouble online, but you still don't have a VPN, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get those 4 months for free, and then let's use the loader safely. So now we just open the loader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home, and here in that bar we'll have to type a link, which you'll see on the screen in a moment. So here's the link, you can see it on the screen, it's app.nextv.fr, make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, because if you make any mistakes, the link is not going to work. And then, after you have entered the link, click on Go. Then a web page is going to open in a couple of seconds, and what we have to do here is just scroll down a bit, and here we have the APK button. So that's exactly what we need to click on. It's going to work both for Fire TV devices or Android devices or Google TV devices. So just click on that button, and now, in a couple of seconds, the download should start. Here's the download, it has started, usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your internet connection speed. Now just click on install in the right bottom corner, and after the app has been installed, do not press on open yet, instead click on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore, so just don't clog the memory of your Fire TV stick with those unnecessary installation files. So we click on delete, and now we're good to go to the list of our applications. And let's do it. So here it is, click on it, and then at the very bottom you see the next TV application, which we just installed to our Fire Stick. What you have to do now is click on the options button on your remote. There's a button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press and move to front. This way, next TV application is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be very easy to access it every time you need it. Then once again, don't forget to use a VPN when using some IPTV players, just to stay out of trouble online. And once again, a great deal for NordVPN with 4 months for free is going to be in a pinned comment below this video. Then let's open NextTV. 
Here it's offering us to make a system software update. I'll click on later. And here obviously it says no playlist has been found because I have not added any playlist yet. However, in your case, if you'd like to add a playlist, what you have to do is click on that plus sign at the very top, then click on add a playlist. And here you have a couple of options. One option is to do it via your mobile phone. So you would have to access website of Next TV, then scan a QR code, and this way you would add a playlist. Then alternatively, you can also use extreme codes. You would enter the host or a link to your service, which is provided to you by your service provider, then a username and a password. Then you click on submit, and that's how you add extreme code playlist. And also there's one stream platform, which works pretty similar to extreme code. So you enter a link, username and a password. There are also some settings in this application where you can play around. So you can create an XTV Plus account and get a paid version of this app. Therefore, you'd have more options and more advanced options to play with. There's also an option to refresh all playlists that you have. Then you can also add a playlist from the settings, watch the history of your live TV, movies or series. Then you can add some changes to your user interface, for example, for your homepage. So here are the settings which you can change. Then the same for live TV. There's quite a bunch of different settings. And then there are also some other options. And pretty much that's it. That's the easy way how you can get Next TV Player to your Fire Stick. Click on the like button if the video was helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.